Hi, this is Mohamed Shakil here and today I'm going to show you how you can generate dimensions step by step in the drafting workbench of Katia V5. So to start off let me open up uh, a part for a file or an assembly file <coughs> and then uh, drafting workbench and then I'll uh, insert few views in it. And once you're done, now you have three views, and uh, you're supposed to create the generations. Uh, uh, you are uh, you're supposed to generate the dimensions step by step. So what happens in uh, generating the dimensions step by step is uh, you get a window, and you're supposed to click the play button and uh, uh, generate the dimensions uh, one by one. So say uh, I'll show you how you can invoke the tool. You can go to generation, generation dimensions step by step, or you have the generation toolbar here, and from here also you can invoke the tool. So to start off, let me just uh, uh, invoke the tool first. Generate dimension step by step, and you have the dimension generation filter here. So uh, I'm going to check both of this associated with unrepresented elements and with design tolerances and I'll uh, click on OK here and you have the step by step generation uh, toolbar. So um, mainly you're going to play this and you're going to uh, use the delay time to check whether the uh, dimensions which are generated are at the proper place and at the proper view. So I'll show you how it works out. So I'll just click on the play button and it shows the first dimension. So it is on the uh, top view of it and just click on play. So at this particular point if you don't want this dimension to be created you can click on not generated and the dimension will be deleted or else if you want that dimension to be shown in any other views if you feel that uh, this dimension can be shown in any of the other views uh, more perfectly you can click on the transferred and choose any of the views which you want to show uh, and in this case this angle can be shown better in the top view as you know so just click on play and go to the next dimension so at any point of time if you don't want any dimension to be created just click on the pause button and just click on not generated and that dimension will be deleted click on play and uh, keep uh, creating dimensions like this so just keep creating like this so if you want you can uh, increase the delay time over here like for four seconds or something so you have a closer look about the dimension created so at this point of time uh, anything which is uh, shown in red is the dimension which is created at that moment at that frame so say if you want this dimension to be shown in this particular view or if you feel that it's overcrowded here and you can show it better in this side view profile here you can just click on transfer and uh, click on the dimension to click on the view which you want to show the dimension or transfer the dimension to just click on it and you can see that dimension is being transferred here and just keep continuing the same method and uh, all dimensions which you want to create will be created <coughs> So just wait till uh, the frames are getting over. So you can decrease the delay time if you want. So in this way, the step by step dimension uh, generate generate a step by step dimension tool is going to work. So once you're uh, you know once you're done or once you feel that uh, you don't want to wait till the uh, frames are complete once you want to skip it uh, to the till the end you can just click on uh, dimension generation up to the end and all the dimensions which are uh, uh, which are uh, being you know, related to these three views will be generated and just click on OK and uh, that's how the generating dimension step by step works so I hope you enjoyed my uh, tutorial and uh, thank you for watching.